Greetings, one and all. Welcome back to the RPG Geeks. I'm Sam Grayson. Here with me are Trial Force of Doom and Red Nova. Stop. All right, I got water. <laughs> there he is. And yeah. welcome back to Stormblood, where last time we took on the Lady of Bliss and emerged triumphant. This time, we're moving on and getting our last Aether Current for the area. Yeah. Level 67 quest, The Silence of the Gods. Have done us a great service this day. Long shall my sisters sing the praises of the Icon Slayer. Let us bear word to them of Sri Lakshmi's passing. Come, friends, Tibira and Nidya. So one thing I, was, I decided to do, or uh, like a day or two ago, was look up the uh, the funny page of uh, TV Tropes for fourteen again because I like to do that sometimes with oh, different boy. things. Um, I legit forgot that uh, Gilgamesh's, uh, like, you know, confusion part of that fight um, will actively go for book wielders just because of the hilarity of getting bashed by your teammate's book. <laughs> really? Yes. Didn't know that. That's kind of funny. Uh, dare I ask what else did you see in there? Oh, well, I specifically went for, like, parts of the uh, game we'd already played, so... Okay, cool. Um, and, and, like, the funny page is also sorted by expansion, so... Right. I imagine you haven't looked up Stormblood yet. Uh, not, not really, no. But, but yeah, uh, okay, the good. fun thing is, and this should not be a surprise at all, Hildebrand got his own page. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Like the entire Surprising point of the like, literally no one. <laughs> the winds whispered of your success, and your eyes confirmed their testimony. The Lady of Bliss no longer holds our Kalyana sisters in her thrall. For this, we thank you. Harris did the deed. We were but witnesses to her heroism. However, I feel this is only the beginning. There is no cure for that which drives the desperate to beseech the gods for salvation. And they wish to use their crystals to summon Sri Lakshmi again. What can be done to stop them? We ignore our sisters' plight at our peril. This we know. We shall endeavor to show them another path so that the day you speak of never comes. We're all in this together. Alamigans and Ananta. We understand that. Hopefully in time they will too. You and yours will ever be friends of the Vera. On that you have my word. We should be getting back to the Peering Stones. Thank you again, Sarisha, for everything. Uh, also, having you know rewatched yeah. it because of course I rewatched it. I, I love how when uh, I, I love how when why am I being done with names all of a sudden? <laughs> uh, I, I love how when uh, Godbert uh, goes to suplex Hildebrand, he actually does a limit break animation. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pippin. There you are. Oh, cutscene. Eh.
All right, so we're coming out of the back lines for a bit then. Yep. <sighs> Indeed. <laughs> Looks like it's up to me and mine to give you a lot of proper welcome. Mother prepared a special meal for this occasion. I have it on good authority that hers is the finest cooking this side of the Valadina. Valadina. And into another cutscene. Low poly chicken. <laughs> At least it's not anime cabbage. <laughs> I just find funny how that might have, how that one bit might have been what's actually spawned all anime food looking good nowadays. <laughs> Why did that tangent of all things uh, be what put the beef stroganoff song in my head? I don't know. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, just look up, I believe it's Symphogear's Beef Stroganoff. It's a, it's a trip. Another nice moment with Lise. Yep. The next day. There's something to be said for a home-cooked meal, is there not? I must cherish these moments fleeting as they are. The fight will always be there, waiting for us to return. Getting materia. Now we can fly. Ooh. I mean, you can. I still need to do some of the side quest stuff. Up <laughs> ah. this quest and then come back later. Well, what's this for? I'm guessing it's going to be for tribal stuff. Yeah. If you see the blue quest here, that's part of the Anata Beast tribe unlock. Yeah, that's what I figured. Mm -hmm. 
that and right. other blue quests in the area. Yep. And back onto the main quest, level 68, the first of many. I trust you are well, well rested and refreshed, yes? Let us return to the front. The greater part of the Alliance forces should have advanced into the peaks by now. But I expect we will pass many of our comrades on the road east. There's a checkpoint along the way, as I recall, but we'll need only to identify ourselves to the soldiers in order to pass. Alright. Ah. Need to go down there. Oh. No, that's for the other quest. Wee bunk. Wee. Oh, why am I on the sheep? What am I doing? I'm a sheep. <laughs> I haven't heard that one in a while. I heard it recently. Because Jared did a drum cover of it. Ah. Yeah, I haven't really watched his streams much. Mostly just like occasional specific song stuff. Yeah, I've mostly just been watching the stuff that gets up on YouTube. And that happened to be one of them recently. Hello. Cutscene. I wanted something fun uh, that uh, the newest set for One Piece's card game uh, started doing. What? We're getting filler characters as cards. Interesting. Yeah, for example, uh, for example, one of the cards in set four, uh, Daddy Masterson, the guy who saw duels for the uh, for the sniper goggles in uh, Rogueport in the anime. Uh, Trading jokes as we march east towards the peaks. Er, Okay, you can understand my uh, mistake there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm excited too. <laughs> in a, in a rum can. But, uh... I, I always forget whether it's Rogue or Logeth, the official romanization. I always saw and heard it as Logue Town. Although I think Rogue Town makes more sense. Yeah. But yeah, and then another character also in set for Apis, aka the girl from that dragon arc right before Red Mountain, or Reverse Mountain. Which I am not familiar with because right after uh, Rogue Town is immediately when I switch back to the manga. Ah, yeah, uh, so, uh, but the thing is that I remember that filler arc mostly because it introduced a plot hole for Zoro <laughs> for uh, the anime, and that he cuts a steel chain. <laughs> you know exactly where the plot hole comes in. Yep. Hello, Monago. As you can see, this part of the peaks is much higher than the northern reaches. That's why the Imperials built Speculum Imperatoris where they did. See those three towers to the east? It sits right on the edge of a cliff, so attacking from the north is a fool's errand. In the south, on the other hand, she's no different from any other Imperial installation. You see now why Veladina was so important, right? Right then. Come along, they're waiting for us in Alighieri. But yeah, before this set, the closest we had was uh, movie and game characters, which make more sense. Yep. Hell, Zed's actually one of the leader characters in, uh, like, set two. Man, the card game's so recent that Uta is in, like, one of the first starter decks. Nice. Yeah, she's in the, uh, like, first Luffy deck. Checks out. Well, it was either that or set one. I'd have to double-check which, actually. I have, I have it in my collection. Boing, I, I just know boing. I got it as part of the, like, Trial Zoro deck. That's, like, a mishmash of set one and starter deck. Mm, let's tune first. But set four is Kingdom, Kingdoms of Intrigue, which is mostly Alabaster and Dressrosa stuff. Ah. 
one thing that slightly annoys me is how Vivi is one of the leaders that can't attack directly, despite her having battle prowess before uh, when we first meet her. <laughs> oh, that's true. Like, Iceberg makes sense as not being able to attack. <laughs> he, he's one of the uh, set three leaders. Ah. And cutscene. I was prepared to read off some more. The game's like, nope, take a break. And also, Rebecca not being able to attack with us, you know, because she's all about defense. Yep. So I guess this is effectively a new quote-unquote town as far as, like, gameplay is concerned. Yep. We're on the other half of the map now. All right. Yep. The upper southern half of the piece. Yep. Now we can go get those ether currents, if we so choose. Frankly, maybe not the worst idea in the world. Yeah. I know I've got a uh, uh, I probably actually attuned to the ether, right? That would be smart. That would be smart. Yeah, let's see. There's a uh, like the uh, I'm double checking here. That one doesn't have one. So I'm actually going to double check my travel log real quick. Uh, we are in. Uh, We're in the peaks. Oh, I need to do a lot of travel ones, apparently. Uh, I've got, it's gr it's green is quest, right? No, yellow is quest, green is travel. Uh, but, 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 and there's like that what? But I did the uh, I did that one quest uh for the story earlier that had a current in there. Why is what? I'm confused now. Because <laughs> like none of the yellows you. are. Oh, was that uh, was the area we were in before the fringes? Yes. Uh, that what? Uh, okay. The place we just were it. was the fringes. That'll do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. And there's currently okay, yeah. one aether current quest on the map right now. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for uh, fringes, yeah, I've only got like uh, two of the uh, quests left, and that's it for fringes, which is nice. I, need to yeah, I didn't realize we were. I didn't realize we were in technically a new region. Yep. Okay. Um. Uh, you know what? I'm just. I'm gonna say we continue with the story and just grab them as we go. All right. Because odds are we'll be going past them anyway. Yeah. Did you accept this quest already, or? Oh, uh, the one for uh, meeting up with Rabon. Yeah, I did. Okay. Strong and unified. Well, you heard the flame journal. Looks like we got a meeting to attend. It's another cutscene. Heads up. Gotcha. Cutscene. I'm not too surprised there's a lot of these with where we're at in the story. Oh, yeah. We're going to be getting more and more of them as the game goes on. I have one of my friends uh, recently cut who uh, still plays Fall Guys regularly. I should get back to playing that. It is fun. Uh, <laughs> and apparently one, one of the current cr uh, crossover costumes is uh, Inky from Pac-Man. Really? Yeah. Uh, so wonder what they did for the costume? What? It's basically inky with the smile and everything, but the eye holes all like, are just like cut out circles for the like beans, uh, like circular part. <laughs> <laughs> Which 
Which is a very clever way to do a costume for it. That reminds me, you heard about the um, 14 collab Fall Guys is doing, right? Yeah, where you can get uh, Bean, Alice, and Alphano. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, I, I remember when that was like first announced, basically. Right. So I recall, didn't 14 like all isn't didn't 14 either get or is getting an event around Fall Guys as well or something? It's on the way at some point here. Meanwhile, over in Fortnite, I can have Optimus Prime shoot uh, G uh, Satoru Gojo in the face. <laughs> you can have Optimus Prime shoot a lot of people in the face. Yep. I've had multiple cases of me playing as Gojo running into a Kakashi. It's like, who's the better sensei? <laughs> <laughs> Also, just the hilarity of giving Gojo of all people a uh, uh, Deku smash as a weapon, as if he couldn't be more OP. Because <laughs> <laughs> the My Hero weapons uh, from the most recent like batch of costumes are still active. Or, well, they were at least. I, I, I've at least seen Todoroki's Ice Wolf still around. Oh, fun. Sounds like more cutscene. This is more cutscene. Let us see. So, she lives. Impressive. Or merely lucky, though that too may prove a useful trait. My lord, what have you done to me? Though we Garlings are intellectually and physiologically superior in almost all respects, we lack the hereditary traits required for the reliable manipulation of ether, hence our unique inability to wield magics. This deficiency, for want of a better word, saw us subjected to decades of oppression by the lesser races, and we were eventually driven to seek shelter in the cold northern reaches of Ilsebar. Fortunately, said region was replete with vast deposits of cerulean, which proved instrumental in the development of Magitech, a revolutionary technology conceived to compensate for our disadvantage. It was with Magitech that we grew strong, that our nation became an empire. Yet, ultimately, this was an extrinsic solution to an intrinsic problem. What I wanted was not a crude device to be used in lieu of magic. Through modification of the Garlean genome, I argued that it might be possible to enhance a subject's ability to manipulate ether, effectively empowering them to wield magics. Alas, my theories were met with consternation in the Imperial Court. Only Lord Xenos, with commendable foresight and wisdom, deigned to support my research. You gave me this treatment, but I'm not Garlean. Alamegan, through and through. What you have been granted is far greater than mere magic. Before that lesser light, it is as a second sun. I am informed that Alagiri was recently occupied by the Resistance. 
and that an attack on specular Imperatoris is considered imminent. This could provide an ideal opportunity to test her performance in the field. Your... skulls, was it? They have joined the garrison at the Watchtower? Yes, my lord. By your leave, I would rendezvous with them and lead a counter-attack against the insurgents. No. Even were you to leave now, you would not arrive in time. There is another duty I would entrust to you. Last one in, first, first one out. So it just hit me with the whole, the whole talk about the experiments and stuff. Uh, does that mean they're currently using Cryo as a battery? Mm. I took it to mean more as sort of like a template. But either way with the way the experiment works, you know what I mean. Yeah, they're using her. For something. In some fashion. So full of fire and eager, weren't they? And they wouldn't worry too much. They're strong and they have each other. She spared me the trouble of having to speak up. I wasn't about to let Lise go alone. I'm just breezing through the quest today. Level 68, hell's open. We have a fair bit of ground to cover, so we should split up. Come across any Imperial soldiers, you know what to do. Oh, and so you know, I sent word to Arunvald's squadron. They are already searching other nearby areas, so we have allies in the event we encounter anything beyond our means. And out we go. All right. Looking to the northeast. It's not making us go that way. One hundred forty yelms to the north, apparently, for what the one I just clocked. Should be three fifty. Should be, I think, up where this fish marker over here is, or maybe I think Red's headed to the other one, actually. West now, apparently. Means there it is. Oh, yep, there it is. What did, wouldn't you know it? Right next to the quest marker. More like inside it, but you know. Well, next to where we actually need to be. Yeah, rule of thumb. 1,000 Yalms is the other side of the map. 500 Yalms is halfway across the map. And from there, you can adjust as necessary. Biolysis. Ooh. Level 72. Biolysis. Oh, so I, like, just got that last session then. Yeah, it's Ooh. a level 72 spell. Potency 70, 30 seconds. 
with, with a little less than three second uh, recast. Nice. So, yeah, not, not a bad version of Io there. And the next ether current it's pointing out to me is somewhere we'll be going to eventually around that area, I think, anyway, so. Yeah. I keep accidentally clicking key items for this today for some reason. <laughs> There it is. Ah. Hello. Oh my wa, mo shinderu. Nani? I love doing that. <laughs> I've noticed, uh, Yo I noticed Yoshida's uh, stuff really likes the whole, like, red streak thing, especially with uh, how uh, the Odin attacks work in 16. Oh, yeah, it's flashy. Run, Duggo, run. I have a friend who I've been uh, getting through One Piece. Uh, he is uh, currently, last we watched, he got, we're near the end of Fishman Island. Like, uh, Noah was crashing down kind of deal. Ah. Uh. So he, he's gotten to what the actual reason for the motive was for Hody after, you know, the... Uh, so, Hody, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. Uh, Hody, well, the, 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 the translation was saying Hordy Jones, but I'm used to saying Hody. Yeah. I remember um, at some point I was trying to remember what his name was or something. I'm like, what the fuck is his name? I'm like, I remember what he looked like and who he was. I just couldn't remember the fucking name. That's something I have trouble with, apparently. Yeah, like, like last we watched uh, was uh, they, they were about to shoot the bubble at Noah and everything. And uh, he got to hear that you know, what Hordy's actual uh, motivation thing was. After the anime does a filler flashback uh, that, you know, is completely contradictory, but, you know. Yep. Hello, Alex. Hey. Give me a moment, Harris. Say that again, if you would. Mm -hmm. No, maintain your distance for now. Understood. Keep me apprised of any developments. That was our involved. The that was spying on us in the fringes has followed us here. What about you, Harris? Any trouble? Uh, we ran into a few. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. I was thinking we might be due for some peace and quiet. Glad to hear you dealt with them. Hope the assault on Speculum Imperatoris is going well. Going into a cutscene? We are going into a cutscene. Tower. 
The Skulls have offered fierce resistance thus far, but Conrad seems to believe he can convince them to lay down their arms. Then we will tend to the stragglers down below. With me! Report. Enemy forces have overrun the lower facilities and appear to be mounting an assault on the main tower. We have already received a request for reinforcements. A unit of legionaries has been mustered and is ready to depart. They await your orders, Commander. Stand down. Commander? Tell them to stand down. Commander, if I may, our people, your people, are still in there. They will be slaughtered. You think I don't know that? I want nothing more than to help them. To lead the bloody charge. But I have my orders. Lord Zeno said no reinforcements. He would have us use the main cannon to destroy the installation. What? Kill our own soldiers? You must be mistaken! Mayhap you'd like to ask Lord Xenos yourself. I thought not. Initiate the firing sequence. Wars are won on the backs of the dead! Theirs and ours. There is no truth but this. We must remain firm and resolute and always, always do our duty. Now, give the order. Initiate firing sequence. Aye, aye, initiating firing sequence. Release safety locks. Deploy main cannon. That's red. True Dolph, Hamlet. For us. For our people. For our future. I need you to confirm the target, Commander. Specular Imperatoris, main tower. Fire when ready. Seven hells. Long range artillery. Those treacherous bastards. Their people were still fighting. Full retreat. Now! Relay the orders! Understood. All 
forces retreat! I repeat, all forces retreat! Yeah, I can't really fight when rubble's falling everywhere. Nope. So goddamn Xenos, goddamn. Yep. Well, shit went sideways. Yep. Yes, it did. Level 68 quest, Heaven's Weep. This way, there's no time to lose. You heard the lady. Yep. Zoom in, maybe give a better illusion of speed. All right, one thing I need to figure out at some point is uh, w how to best uh, hook the uh, keychains I've recently gotten onto my backpack because they're slight. The zipper handles are slightly too wide for that. Hmm. It's worse than it looks. H he probably wasn't even. Pull yourself together. The gate. This is our way inside. I need to find my brother. Right now. The locks on the All massive right. gate appears to have been disabled. You need only pry them open to pass through. Here we go. Glad you're here, Harris. Guess it isn't obvious the Imperials fired on us. On Specula Imperatoris. Didn't think they had it in them. You know, they're all meant just to kill us. God damn them all. Where's my brother? Tell me where he is. I want to see him. He, he was in the tower when it was struck. That need not mean anything. Forces are still evacuating and many remain unaccounted for. Alice? Alice, listen. There are soldiers wounded and dying all around us. Soldiers with families, just like you and me. They need our help. Do you understand? He's right. I'll take the north, you take the east. We go this way. I uh, got on Rob on for being able to know exactly how to talk sense back into her. I imagine he probably went through the exact same shit. Oh, yeah. D dude's been at this for so long, I would not be shocked at all. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I think I think I can manage on my own. I mean, also, I forgot we witnessed him lose an arm. True, and he's still out there fighting. Yep. Very effectively, too, might I add. Still kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had to fight him when he was down an arm. And that was. Uh... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Imagine if he still had both. Yeah. Oh, would have been Talk about a real robot ex thing. <laughs> I'm almost amazed that. See, it doesn't get him like a fucking prosthetic or something. I would be surprised if he offered it, but Robin was like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, that does sound like something he'd do. It's some kind of ethereal charged arm that just so, so all of a sudden just transforms or something. <laughs> I don't think he'd like, go that oh. far. I was like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I imagine he'd just want something to be able to hold stuff with. Probably. For a moment, for a moment there, I thought I was bound for Thal's Great Hall. Gods, what were the Imperials thinking? Yeah, actually, fair to be going that far would be more like Raybot Savage rather than Raybot EX. <laughs> Rob on Unreal. Oh my goodness. I can't <laughs> already imagine it. Just 
Oh, Give me wow, a little Lithu- yeah. Repeat rescue, huh? Huh. How about that? Just give me a moment to let the world stop spinning, would you? There. Alagir is not far. I'll make it. I'll make it. Dude just looks passed out. And cutscene. Oh uh, boys. And just into another cutscene. But come on. There we go. Conrad. Conrad, speak to me. It, it was all so sudden. Conrad had just convinced the last few skulls to surrender when when we heard the bang and and everything started to shake we carried the survivors to safety but conrad's we have done what we can for him all that remains is to pray uh. conrad is, is that you lise i can't I, I can't see a damn thing Well, that's that then. Time's up. What are you talking about? You'll be on your feet before you know it. Uh, it's all right, Lise. I've lived long enough. But listen, I want... I want you to lead the resistance in my stead. Don't say another word. You'll recover. We'll recover. We'll bring freedom to Alamigo together. We're not going to stop here. No, no, you won't. Everything we've built, everyone we've brought together, I know you'll show them the way. You've got it in you, Lise. Not because you're Curtis's daughter or... Ida's sister, but because... Because you're you. Because... You're you. Conrad. Lead them to victory. To freedom. I will, Conrad. I will. I promise. Next round, double the charge.
come, Nidhogg. We are needed. That's the Cerulean Pipeline! Impossible! How can one man... Shoot the bastard! Shoot him! slain far greater beasts. You're welcome, boy. Notify all units! I want that intruder found! And get the engineers to fix my bloody cannon! Savages are coming. I do remember thinking around this point, I'm kind of shocked that he's still around. Kind of figured we were done with the story after Heaven's Word. I did not expect him to show up and do that. <laughs> Me neither. Anyway, back with this sad mess. Could have killed them. Could have walked away. And so we tried to convince them to lay down their arms. Tried to seek a peaceful resolution. We showed them mercy, and this was their response. Fire and blood. This was their answer. Such crimes cannot go unpunished. They must not. God is my witness, there will be a reckoning. Level 68, the road home. Forgive me, now is not the time for vows of vengeance. We must remain calm and rational and in control. The Imperials have demonstrated a willingness to fire on their own. So long as we remain here, we are in danger. We three will see to Commander Kemp's body. Find my sister and return to Alagiri. Got it. I definitely was expecting uh, one of the guys from the uh, step to show up here, like during that whole healing everyone phase. <laughs> there, that just suffice for now. Go on and join the others. Tell me you found Alpha no. Tell me he's all right. Like, yeah, he's just up over there. And heavily pissed off. <laughs> oh, thanks the 12. I don't know what I would have done. I'm saying that, what will the resistance... I'm saying that, what will the resistance do without Commander Kemp? Sorry, not here. Not now. We should return to Alighieri. Keep an eye out for any wounded who need our help on the way. And we do have some peeps on the way. Wasn't long ago I was trying to kill you and yours. I've expected you were about to slip my throat. To hell's with this. I should be back home in Elsabad instead of taking fire from my so-called comrades. Zeno's doing a great job with his team morale. Yeah. Zenos that guy knows what's up. <laughs> Zenos is the definition of the beatings will continue until morale improves. He does not give two shits. Yeah. Or even one. Thanks, friend. But he tourniquet came loose and I was having trouble getting it back on. It should be fine the rest of the way.
<laughs> oh, oh, bless you, kind... Wait, is that you, Harris? Didn't recognize you at first. I'm feeling a bit dizzy. Lost a lot of blood. I... I can keep going. You can keep going. Maybe stop by the infirmary once you're back. <laughs> yeah. Where's the ether from here? Still a little ways. Okay. Uh, hey, Red, how close are you to the you-know-what? Um, I haven't unlocked it yet, so... Okay. I'm on the way there, but I'm in that part that's kind of dragged out. But... Gotcha. So there's a good chance we could do that today. Yeah. Yay. I'm at that little place called Radiata right now. Gotcha. Hold on. Oh. Never mind. Uh. <laughs> There's an enemy coming at you. Ah. Uh. Harris, a given over commander comes remains for safekeeping. Later, I have no idea when, rites must needs be for performed. For now, however, we must carry on. We must press forward. We must not give in to despair. I think the aggro music was playing during that dialogue. <laughs> Level 68 for the living and the dead. All Alliance and Resistance units have now withdrawn from Speculum Imperatoris. Time we spoke with General Alden. I'm surprised the... Isn't this still technically the first part we're recording? Yeah. I, I would have thought a break would have happened at this point time-wise. Or like, when did we start recording again? Yeah, it hasn't even been a full hour yet. Oh, ha. Huh. Yeah, we were just sh moving through this part. And cutscene. Actually, ooh, might be close tonight. Yay. I remember, I think some of the dragged out stuff I was talking about being after the dungeon, not before. Castor Babanya now accessible. Hey.
So close to level 73. I'm at about 150k left. Woo! Sorry to drag you into this, Harris. It may not be the decision Conrad would have made, but I'm not Conrad. It never will be. I don't know what kind of leader he was hoping for, but right now all I can do is be myself. All right. And we're at that point, so thank you all so much for joining us. If you like this video, leave a like and a comment. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.